<sighs> Good morning. Good almost afternoon. It is day six. We are in Grand Turks. I feel like somebody hit me with a Mack truck and rode me outside to burn to death. Oh man, I am so... <laughs> I feel miserable today. As you can see, got a little sun yesterday, got fried yesterday, getting on that kayak I'm assuming. I'm sore from the kayaking, I'm sore from all the walking, the swimming, ugh. I shouldn't be, but I am. Anyway, enough about me. We're in Grand Turks. They are doing window washing today. There's Grand Turks. Everybody's out there having a good time. Water is clear, looks amazing. So if I start feeling a little bit better, I might go walk around. Everybody's at the beach. We did that yesterday, not at the beach, but we did have a cabana. And like I said, I'm so sore. The rest of the crew is down on deck eight on the aft pool. If I do anything, I might go walk down the Grand Turk so I can show you guys what they have to offer but right now I'm just trying to get my bearings with that being said enough about me I gotta make myself get up get moving get going around check stuff out I'm gonna go get me some coffee I'm gonna go down to deck eight see what they're doing see what's going on might get off the ship don't know yet when I find out you will find out so until then I'm gonna drink my tea that I made last night hopefully it's not sour not sour thank God so let's get moving. Let's get out of this room so he can clean it and all that good stuff. Let's go. Is it me or do you share my Come on over. Seeing I was open, I thought I would do a slot machine on camera again for you to see me lose my money. Lose my money. You want to bet a dollar twenty? And let's get going. Here we go. That was my second spin, actually. Bet a dollar, win a dollar. Four dollars. Ooh, I'll take four dollars. I'll just take some buffaloes. Buffaloes are coins. Here's my buffaloes. Only one buffalo, but I got wilds. Four dollars, thirty cents. Come on, baby. One more. Nah, boo. Oh, that would have been nice. Come on. Work yourself into something. Eh, not as much as I'd like. $2.80. Come on now. I need a big hit. That's not a big hit. $2.20. Come on. I have not hit a bonus yet playing Buffalo. Okay, we're gonna quit. All right, it's about 11.30. Most of the people are off the ship. Those who aren't off the ship are outside enjoying the sun. I went out there to check on the girls, see what they were doing. They were laying out in the sun. So I said, no. Going back into the cruise ship. Where it's nice and cool and shady because my face is on fire today you know what it means when i have the hat and sunglasses on that means i gotta go out off of the ship to grand turks i don't know if you knew that or not but that's what it means i forgot this is where we got our son's soaps that he really liked we got some soaps that they made on the island and we got it for him last time he loved them so we're gonna do it again so I need to go out and go get him some. <laughs> All right. I picked the absolute worst time to get off the ship. That is everybody trying to get back on the ship. And I just got off the ship. Not very smart, but I gotta go get that stuff. So I'm gonna go get that stuff. Here we go. Let's go get that stuff. Well, okay, since we're already off the ship, when everybody else is getting on, look at the nose. Isn't that cool? 
and that's a big boat. So yeah, we still have two hours left, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I think everybody is hot and tired and wants to get back on the ship. We've been here since seven o'clock and we leave at 3.30. So there's your beach. Good Lord, it's gonna be a nightmare getting back on the ship. All right, so we went through Ron John. We got a couple of shirts as requested. And now I got to go find a place that sells the soaps and hope they still have it because it's not guaranteed that they still have that area. Yep, here we are. So if we can find it, we'll get it. There's the salts we got last time. Here's their soaps. soaps first because I know that's the most important thing and here they are three bars 20 bucks let's see which one am I getting Blackbeard's pirate soap cactus flower monkey farts Ooh, that looks like that's a smooth sell so we'll get that all right let's get some soap be right back not so easy things to do when you're on the ship if you're not in your room is finding bathrooms they are very scattered and not well advertised where bathrooms are and usually most of them are singles like this so and unisex so wave of information right there I can't believe you hit me <laughs> oh my gosh Can you, is it you're rude? such an Believe Polly, can you believe he just said it's red and puffy? I said, Oh my god, I got, I got, you gotta learn. I'm gonna to, go run you, some water over it. You gotta learn how to mine. This is horrible, <laughs> so mean. Anyway, we're fixing to leave the island, Grand Turks. I did go to the island to do some very fast shopping. I'll just let you see the island while I tell you the story. So, apparently, about noon today. A fight broke out on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Shocker. Another fight on the Mardi Gras. Or on the Carnival. Don't know what happened. It was down on deck three near the elevators. Don't know if some people got into a fight over who got on the elevator first or what. But fight broke out. Security had to break it up. I do not know if they have been detained and kicked off the ship. I hope they have been. Uh, they said they were going to start doing that and banning people for life on Carnival cruise ships if they fight because there's been so many fights happening on Carnival cruise ships so I guess you'll just have to wait and see. The only issue I would have with that if somebody started a fight and somebody else was defending themselves I hope that the right person gets kicked off and if a person was just defending themselves I hope they don't have to pay for that as well so but anyway it happened again. I think it's, it's like the eighth or ninth fight on a Carnival cruise since early July that's been reported. Obviously, there's probably been more fights that haven't been reported, but it never fails. This wasn't just a simple little scruffle either. Apparently, there was like eight or nine security guards had to break the fight up near the elevators. It was extremely crowded down there because everybody was trying to get back on the ship so obviously that caused a backup on the dock where people were trying to get on the ship and they had to break up all of that so I left the ship about one o'clock because I had two hours left and it had already happened apparently 
uh, but it did back up the people trying to get back on the ship because it was very crowded when we left. Obviously, when I got back on, it wasn't crowded at all, so that must have been the reason why. For the most part, people have been very nice on this ship. There are a few of those people. As a matter of fact, a couple of nights ago, I, it was like maybe 11 o'clock at night, and I had my GoPro in my hand, wasn't on, wasn't talking to it, and I just had it, you know, laying beside my, you know, had it down by my leg, so I was going up the elevator, and some drunk started yelling at my microphone. He actually bent down towards my private and yelled into my microphone while it wasn't even on, and he got up and goes, you not that a microphone? You some kind of filmer? And I'm like, yeah, it's a microphone and it's a camera. Oh, you videotaping some stuff? Why don't you videotape this? Why don't you, why don't you videotape me? Look, uh, and his wife was just standing there like, <laughs> it's so funny. And I'm like, dude, get away from me. Just stop. And then once he realized I wasn't enjoying what he was doing, he finally stopped. But you have people like that on cruise ships. I mean, it's, it never fails. People are drunk. People are belligerent. And that's the end result. It's like my eyes Every time I try to film her, that's the first place she goes. Right there. You poor battered woman. We're on eight. Poor battered woman. Are we on eight? Jackass. Yeah, we're on eight. Where did I hit you again? Tell the world. Oh, there it is. You're so mean. I must ask to see if I've got some ice. Yeah, you want to get me kicked off the ship real fast, you go ahead and just say that a little louder. Forget your chocolate straw. Huh. I was going to go get you a chocolate straw. No more. I was going to, I was going to get you a Vespa. Oh Lord, <laughs> you're stupid. I hope I hit you again. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Somebody found a duck in the Fiat. I haven't found a duck yet. I haven't looked, but I haven't found one. I need to find a duck. Okay, while we play musical chairs in Grand Central for this show to start, I have no clue what they're doing. That's where y'all decided to sit. I was over there, but y'all kept moving the other side. It was in that corner where those where chairs those four are. Chairs are? Yeah. Like Two tables. See those four chairs over there? Y'all like that better? It'll be taken before long. Oh, wait. Let me see. I gotta go find a chair. I gotta go get a chair. I gotta go get a chair. Gotta get a chair. I'm trying to find them a place to sit to watch the show. Is this sufficient?
You get the idea. Yes. Who's that? Michael Jackson! Yes, okay. That's one. What I need you to do, you're going to reach inside the bag, remove one slip of paper, and you're going to hold it to your chest. You're going to guard it with your life. You're not... And he shines just like a star. Okay, real quick before the show starts, we're in a punchline club, we're going to watch a comedy show, me, and a special appearance by Voyager T. Say hi, say I'm still here, I really do exist, I promise, look at Voyager T on camera. Anyway, we're going to watch Punchliner, and obviously no filming when you watch the Punchliner shows, they don't like that, so, alright, bye bye. Walk it to your left and walk it to your right. Do it again. Just walk it to your left. Now walk it to your right. One more time. Walk it to your left. Hey, walk it to your right. Cool stuff. Okay, so I've never seen this before being played ever anywhere. So I'm watching cricket. This is on the basketball court. They're actually playing cricket. They got cricket rackets and everything. They got the whole shebang bang Oh! Still haven't figured this game out. I don't see how they even play it. Oh! It's a hard bounce. Anyway, that was cricket. Don't ask me how to play. It's baseball with a paddle. It's the best way I can describe it. All right, what better way to close out another day on the Mardi Gras than to be in the kiddie pool on the Mardi Gras at night? Don't worry, the water's all gone. So anyway, wraps up day six. One more day. Tomorrow's the sea day. We just left Grand Turks a couple hours ago. We were on the ocean, headed back to Port Canaveral. And like I said, tomorrow's a full day at sea, and then it's over. Boo. Man, I tell you, this cruise has flown by. Seems like every cruise I've been on the past year has just gone so fast. Wrapping up today, Grand Turk is a very small island. There's not a whole lot to do. Uh, some Jeep rides, some golf cart rides as far as excursions, and then it's the beach. Basically, you get off of Grand Turks to go to the beach. They do have a really cool pool there. I did a vlog on it uh, when we were there in January. And if you want to see that, uh, you can check it out on YouTube. But I did get off the ship only to shop. Uh, bought my son some soap that he likes from the island and bought a couple t-shirts for some people at home. Other than that, just got off the ship, got right back on. This is it. Everybody will be on the ship tomorrow, so it's going to be super crowded at the pools, at every pool. They have three pools on the ship, and yeah, they'll be loaded up because tomorrow is the last day. So, But yeah, it's been a good day. The people on the ship, the crew themselves, they've been super awesome. The people on the cruise ship, for the most part, super nice. We've met a lot of new people. Obviously, with any cruise, you have your bad seeds on the cruise ship. We have dealt with them as well, but you know, not not near as many people as there are nice. So, all in all, it's been a good cruise so far, and yet we got one more day. So, that wraps up tonight. Oh yeah, there was a fight on the ship today. I hate to report, but there was. Apparently, some people got into a fight at the elevators on floor three where people disembarked to get to the port. I really didn't expect to see a fight on the Mardi Gras. And sure enough, I didn't see it, but 
a lot of people did and did not like it for obvious reasons. I can understand why people get upset. I got upset because some dude was messing with me in an elevator the other day. He was drunk. He started trying to grab my GoPro and playing with my microphone and bent down and screamed in it and just acting like an idiot. I let him do it. I didn't say nothing. I did tell him to back off because he was getting really weird. Those things happen and I guess those are the types of situations where people will get in fights. I don't want to be banned for life on the carnival so I just let him be an idiot and got off the elevator. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again tomorrow, day 7, our last day, one more. And that is it for the Mardi Gras cruise in September. Please hit that subscribe button. It does not cost you anything. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. I did say that I had 400 subscribers now, but then I lost two, so I'm still not at 400. But I hope you do subscribe. Hit that like button if you have any questions or comments, or if you were on the cruise. Leave me a comment below. I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what you thought about the cruise. Tune in till tomorrow on day seven, our last day of our cruise. And I'm going to leave you tonight with a little parte on the Lido deck here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. So until tomorrow, peace and love. See you later. Bye-bye.